Thank you very much, Henry, and welcome back, everyone, to the Moda Super Series as we etch closer to the midnight hour. But this game is huge in the race for finals night. Alexander Merck safely there, but Robert Rickwood can take a huge, huge step to finals night if he can pick up two points here. Level on points with Neil Duff on six. There he is, the man from Burnley, 50 years old, using a 23-gram B7 Legends dart. But interesting pressure on one, absolutely no pressure on the other. Alexander Merckx just going through the gears, looking to keep this unbeaten record going. First leg is Alexander to throw first. And Robert will have to find a break of throw if he's to take the points. Ninety-five. But the start Robert has made to this evening has been brilliant. Two wins from his opening two games. One hundred and thirty-four. As Mr. Double Nineteen is in this game, and as if by magic, Corinne is back 16. in the commentary box with us. Yeah, I tell you what, it's absolutely freezing up there on that balcony. <laughs> 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 oh wow. It's in it's very warm in this competition. So yeah. Like two different places. Yeah, and we were just saying at the start of the night, we didn't see 100. this materializing, did we? It looked as if it was just a race for third, but now the whole group B has just been blown wide open. Yeah, and that's all thanks to this man from <laughs> Robert Rickwood, who's just yeah, 41. had a, a great start to the evening. And he has the Merck's throw and a little bit of bother here. 100. Merck's down to a finish first, but Rickwood can set this up and make it a lot easier. 43. But that's Alexander a straight. 146. Neil Duff right now is head of the 57. Alexander Merck's fan club. Robert I reckon they're practice room. Probably. He's probably in there cheering him on. I see if he's calmed down yet. Oh, he did have a smile on his face when I walked through the players room. I was only about 89. So he's okay. Sixty-four. Wasn't sure how much he could see of that ball. Like the way the flight had kicked up from the dart of the nineteen. Big moments here. Huge moments. Game shot on the first and leg. Robert, Rickwood Robert Rickwood is Rickwood. up to the task. The man that came in needing a lot of work is finding all the answers at the moment. That's 100 to break the Alexander Merckx throw. throw first. Game on. Can he move into second and break the winning streak of the Dutchman? It's all there for 16. the taking. One hundred and twenty one. We have had the stat confirmed. Mm -hmm. First time in live league stroke super series history. One out of them. Anyone has won three legs in one match on double 19. Wow. See, I thought it would. Uh, that's why I called it a Rickwood special. Just knew that it wouldn't be a popular way to be finishing out legs. It is now officially the Rickwood. Mm -hmm. 100. 100. Right now, Corin, the way he's playing, is Rickwood favourite to make finals night now? Oh, yeah. He's um, he's definitely one. I'll be, I'll be really surprised 140. if he doesn't get three now. I said the same about Alexander and Neil, though, so... You know, I mean, Alexander is definitely through. 59. Robert I Yorkar, would 61. think that with the leg deficit there is between third and fourth place that uh, Neil and, and Robert Game are going to be through. Game shot on the second Neil leg. Robert out 61. Still 100% on his checkouts here. Two from two. Checking out a 100 in that first leg and 61 here in that second to double his lead for 2-0. Third leg, Alexander to throw first. Game on. 
It, it might not matter if Robert wins this one, but I was one thinking that if Alexander Merckx had picked up the points here, I was quite looking forward to game nine, Robert Rickwood against Ryan Furness, because although the leg difference is huge, where they're playing each other, it's a double swing. 66. Yeah, that is true. But Robert Rickwood, halfway to moving second in this Group B table. 100. 140. Much, much better leg here from Alexander Merckx. Bandage scoring boots that weren't there in the opening few legs. 85. Alexander Yukar, 161. 31. Not the best setup, though. No, he could have done a lot more with that shot. Obviously, he didn't need to, to go for it to finish it off, but could have done a lot more in what terms of setting 80? it up, making it Alexander a lot easier. Because all of a sudden, the pressure is on this 130 now that... Robert's put in a, a 180 and left himself with 70. Robert, you'll pass 70. Yeah, Alexander Merckx thought he had all the time in the world. However, the man from Burnley had other ideas and tops for 3-0. Alexander, you'll pass 72. It doesn't go, but this 70 72 is not a gimme. Double 16. Game shot on the Of third course lane. it is. <laughs> but he made it look easy. He'll breathe a bit of a sigh of relief there as well because Robert Rickwood almost Robert ambushed Robert him on the line. First game on. Yeah, it was just that last missed start at tops. Otherwise, he would have been 78. Coming up to a 3 0 goal line. 60. 125. Just looks full of confidence tonight, Robert. Yeah, we've, we've talked about that before. Once you have that confidence, well, confidence breeds competence. So you're feeling confident, you're going to start playing really well. And we all know that when you're playing well, the doubles and trebles, they look 85. bigger. Oh, they look massive. They're the size of the whole board. 100. Both Dan to manageable numbers. It's all about the setup here. And that stray into the five. 79. Won't do him any good, but he's covered into the night to the 18s really, really well there. They are two low 60. darts from Merck. 134. And 54 tops, tops. 94. Alexander Yukar, 141. 141, not going to go. So Robert Rickwood 82. is going to come back, Robert Yukar, staring 40. at tops for 3 1. 20. Alexander Yukar, 59. Be interested to see, Corin, that, that, that second dart, just the way it sat after hitting the other dart, I think that might have been a hindrance. Yeah, quite possibly. Might not really had a great Robert sight Yukar, there 20. of the tops to be able to get that third one in, but has had a reprieve here with Alexander missing Game a few darts and doesn't way. make Robert any mistakes Rickwood. this time. Straight into that double five and moving into a 3-1 lead. The Alexander Merckx winning streak is under the like Alexander the to first. Game on. Is he going to be that bothered by it? I don't think so. He 42. already knows he's through to tomorrow night. Yeah, but we all like winning streaks. Yeah, I guess so. 24. See, if me and Nico or me and Matty Edgar were here now, we'd go into the 24. Undertaker's winning streak at WrestleMania. And I'd just have the eye roll, everyone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One out of them 40. I don't know. Well, I know. Well, I've got no idea what his streak would be now, but I, 
I, you know what? I do know a little bit about wrestling, but not 100. enough to know what his streak is. I probably know more about wrestling than I do about football. Let's put it that way. That's a fair one. Ninety-seven. So Alexander Merck's two twenty. How handy can he leave this? Sixty. That's been the disappointing feature in in this game. In the previous ones, his setup play around the two hundreds, two twenties had been immaculate, but that's deserted him so far in this game. Just hasn't been able to find 95. that. 95. Alexander Yukar was in 60. Eighty one. Leave seventy nine. Robert Rickwood one eight five. How much pressure can he apply? Eighty one. Alexander Yukar seventy nine. Enough to make it interesting. Got two darts, double eleven. And Game that's show all on the he fifth needs. leg. Alexander Merckx. Brings it back to a 3-2 scoreline, although that was a hold of throw, so Rob does now have the dart. Six leg, Rob is to throw first, leg, game on. And the opportunity to close out this match 4-2 and end the winning streak of Alexander Merck. Yeah, and also, no, if you're thinking, I don't want to go to a decider, get it done here. When you have the chances to be able to do it on your own throw, that's One absolutely what you want to do. But Merckx has started with a two treble visit. Applied. Because he wants it to go all the way. <laughs> he wants there to be a seventh seven. leg. He's not ready to give up his winning streak just yet. Yeah, and if he can find another two treble visit here, he can't. But pin Nice you on. Yeah, it was a good switch there and good thinking, good board management. Now he only needs a simple ton to be able to leave himself on a finish. 140. The treble 17 switch is very underused, in my opinion. 140. Mm. It has its uses. And he did better than just that simple ton. He's gone all the ton for. He left himself 130. We'll need to use the treble 20 here because 58. Rob's Robert on. I mean, is he going to go 60 tops, double 19? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have surprised me. 98. Alexander He's applied Carl, pressure, 72. though, that's for sure. 98 to leave tops. 72 for Alexander Merckx to break and send us all the way. One dart at double He's 16. And, of Alexander course, Merckx. it goes. We are level at three apiece. There's a... There's a wry smile there from Robert Rickwood to say, I knew that was going. And Alexander so pinned that Alexander 72 first, game on. in that leg just as easily as he did uh, in the leg before, or a couple of legs before that. 60. And we have our third match in a row that's gone to a deciding leg. Once we had that first one two matches ago, we did say, is one this going to be the start 80. of the seven leggers? And it certainly appears to be that way so far. It does, but what a huge time 100. to hit a maximum in a deciding leg against the darts. Sixty. Oh, but then he cuts it in half. So Alexander Merckx needs trebles. Not travel fives, though. 91. It's enough, but it's advantage Robert Rickwood in the decider. And he's straight back into that 60 again. 100. Ooh, that was lucky before it fell out, because that has left him a finish of 161. But look at this from Alexander. Robert putting Carl, some 61. massive pressure on there. He couldn't, could he? Oh. Bullseye for a 161. 136. Oh. Do you know, it would not 100. have surprised me at all had that have gone in. One match start missed. However, Merck's double 18. 92. And he misses oh. as well. Oh. 25. 
as Henry would say, this is some tungsten tension. Game shot on the match. Robert Rickwood. Rickwood is now the favourite to make it through to Saturday's final. He's firing the break to throw in the final leg. 180 did all the damage early on, and it is 4-3 to Robert Rickwood. The winning streak of Alexander Merckx is over an 89.54 average for the man from Burnley. Now, we cannot wait. Go and get yourselves a cuppa or whatever your tipple is on a Friday night, and we'll be back after this short break.